Hi! In this video I will be showing you how to create social posts and social graphics in Adobe Spark. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dan and I consider myself a lazy creator because too often my full-time job or life gets in the way of creating. So I started this channel to motivate myself and others by talking about all things that make the creative process simpler. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. But either way, keep going, keep creating, even if you're doing it at a slower pace. I always wanted to become a Photoshop or InDesign Pro and I know a few things in each of those applications but I never really took the time to learn it properly and these days there are really so many other options and alternatives out there where you can create really any kind of design and that make it really easy for non-designers like me to create social graphics. The first time I came across a program like this uh, was Canva. Uh, which you might be familiar with. It's actually an Australian company. It started here and then became very popular globally very, very quickly. Now, I only ever used the free version of Canva back in the day when I wasn't really using a lot of social graphics. So I never really wanted to spend the money for the premium version. But then I learned that Adobe created a similar software and it is part of the Adobe Creative Suite, which I'm using anyway for my photography and video work. So I was really excited to jump into that and test it out. And now I'm really using it for all kinds of things like channel art, cover photos, um, newsletter or blog articles, uh, or Instagram stories, Instagram posts, and that's what I'm gonna show you. So enough of the intro, let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so this is the home screen uh, of Adobe Spark in your starting point. I'm using the free version to show you what's possible in here, but usually I would work in the premium version that comes with my creative suite and I will talk a little later about the benefits of that. Um, now up here you have your different size templates, you've got your Instagram story here, your Instagram posts, Facebook and different more generic options and you can also create a custom size. So this is when you really want to start from scratch and with a blank canvas. Um, this will give you an empty post and you can build on top of that. Uh, if you go up here into view all, you have even more size options. So let's go back here. Below that you have basically finished or full templates that you can customize with preloaded images, text and animations, um, text examples um, in all different sizes. Uh, and again, if you go into explore all templates, you can find even more. Below that is uh, the section for your own projects. So all uh, designs that you create in Adobe Spark will appear here. So you can always go back and uh, change things up and um, go back and customize if you need it for a different purpose. And then down here you have further resources about creating designs or Adobe Spark. Okay, so for this example, let's create an Instagram post. So we'll click on here and that will now um, get us into the um, editing panel. So this is the editing interface. So up here you see your, the title of your post, which you can change. I'm going to create a post for a local cafe. So I'm going to call it IG Cafe. And then you have here your blank post. Down here is the Adobe watermark. Um, which you can remove by upgrading to the premium version um, or if you crop later on, which I can show you. All right, so let us jump into the uh, menu options, which you see here on the right hand side. On the top here, you can go into add and um, add different items into your designs such as text, photos or icons and even your logo if you have preloaded it into Adobe Spark. I think this is a premium feature but it is really really handy if you are creating a lot of 
graphics and posts for your brand and you don't want to upload your logo every time. And what it also does is you can predetermine your brand colors and you can very easily work within your brand's color palette for each post you're creating. Below that is the template section, which we are in right now. Um, so these are all different kinds of templates for the size you've chosen. And you see here, this yellow label means this is a premium template. So you can only use that if you are a premium user, but you have a lot of um, free versions here as well that you can use and customize to your liking. Below that are even more design elements that you can add into your post and into your design with different texts and image options. Um, then you can go into colors and you have options for different color palettes and you can also customize your color palette to whatever you like, you want a little brighter, a little bit darker um, or use the color picker. Um, you can do that as well. Okay, let's go further into layouts. So if you want to create a post with different elements uh, or different squares, uh, you can do that in here if you want to add multiple images, for example, into your post. But we are keeping it simple for this example. In the resize panel, you then have the options if you decide while you're creating that you actually want to create a different kind of post. So for example, I choose to now create a portrait version of my Instagram post. So you can just go into resize and use different options. You have uh, YouTube thumbnails, LinkedIn posts, all different kinds of sizes. Um, but let's stick to the normal Instagram size. And then below that you have the animation panel. Now we don't have anything in here yet, so we can't animate anything, but I'll show you a little later how that works. Okay, so let's start with a template. I am creating a post for a local cafe, so let's just go with this support local, uh, click create. And then what you'll notice here is that it created now a different post. I'm actually not sure why it does that, but uh, you just have to rename it again. And then you have here um, this template and then you can click and select each individual item and customize it. So for example, here, I wanna change the font of this um, text. So if you click on the text, you see that there are different options coming up here on the right. So I can, you know, change the text here, change the size and the letter spacing and all different um, kinds of things, like the opacity as well. Um, if you want to change the color, you can go into the color here. I want a bright blue. Um, you can even, you know, I want it a little bit darker. You can create different shapes around your text if that works. Um, so you really need to click through all the different options and see what works for your design, but we'll keep it simple here. And you have also text effects that you can use, such as cutouts or um, adding a shadow, which then you can customize even further. If you're not sure what style you want to go with, you can go into style down here and then you get a wheel. And if you just wheel through, it gives you different kinds of options um, for your text, which is pretty cool if you haven't decided yet on a particular design or if you need some inspiration. All right, so let's go back to what we had. If you want to go back to the main menu, you just have to click here into the empty space and then you come back to the main menu. Now I want to change the text here. So I just double click on the text uh, and say cafe here or cafes because we are trying to promote a local cafe. Click on done. Okay. And then now this uh, graphic doesn't really work anymore for me. So I'm just going to click this and delete. And then I want to add an image here. 
Okay, so I click here on add and go into photo. And then you have different options to add photos. So you can um, choose stock photos or your Lightroom. So if you're using Lightroom, it's really, really handy because you can connect your Lightroom or a sync folder uh, from your Lightroom catalog. Uh, and then it appears in here, which I use most of the time because I don't need to export a photo from Lightroom and then upload it in here. I can just directly grab it from Lightroom. You can also connect your Dropbox and your Google Drive and upload your own photos from your drive. Now I'm going to choose the free version. Now I checked this earlier and Unsplash, which is a free stock photo site, doesn't seem to work at the moment. So they have a different options Pixabay. So I'm just going to use this. Uh, I'm going to type in coffee. And then you get a lot of different images that you can use um, for your post. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, and then you can either pen it to the background, which um, makes it fill out the whole background or move freely, which adds another layer on top, on top of your design. And then you can move it around. In this case, I want this to fill the background. So I'm just going to click in here. And then you can just um, click and drag um, the image wherever you want it. You can change the size of the image, um, rotate if you like, or mirror it. Yeah, so I'm just going to position this here. So now I want to actually change the color here to maybe, a, maybe, a, yeah, like a yellow. And I'm going to move this down here. So you also get, as you see here, those guiding lines. Um, to find the middle, um, which is really handy. Or if you want to line it up on one edge, um, you can do that as well. But let's just keep it in the middle here. And then I could change in maybe as well the, um, the font here again. Don't judge me for my design choices. <laughs> this is just for demonstration purposes. You can also just drag it here if you want to change the size. Okay, right. Okay, so now uh, let's say you want to um, animate your text. So you can go into the animation panel here and then you can just click on here and then it gives you different um, animation options. Right. So but we want to create an image post, so we'll just use this. Okay. So here you also see um, that you can add your brand, which I talked to you about earlier. You can upload your uh, logo and um, your colors and even choose your font. And then you have a few examples how that could look on different kinds of posts in Adobe Spark. But this, as I said, is a premium feature. Um, but if you decide to go with premium or you have access to the premium version through your creative suite, then it's really handy to upload your brand. Okay, now we've finished the post. So now we want to download the final version. Um, and in order to do that, you just go up here to the download button and then you can um, choose between PNG, JPEG or PDF. I'm just going to pick JPEG here and start downloading. And then you'll see it down here. Um, it's in your downloads folder or wherever you might want to um, save it. And if I open it up, then you'll see this is my post. Okay. And as I said uh, earlier, you still have the Adobe Spark watermark here. Now, if you want to be cheeky, you can now just, you know, take this image and crop it out. And there you go. Then you have your final post without the watermark. I'm sitting, but it tells me that I just reach my 10,000 steps a day. And I've been sitting here for at least half an hour recording this. All right, 
I hope you enjoyed this quick run through in Adobe Spark. I only really showed you one feature and one way of creating a post. Also, let me know if you have any questions uh, or if you'd like me to cover other areas of Spark and I can make a follow-up video. There are a number of other features like the animations or the slideshow videos and the mobile apps because they have a few mobile apps which can be a bit confusing. Um, yeah, so let me know and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and yeah please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot and i'll see you in the next one take care